This technique will demonstrate a high velocity end range left lateral translatory force C4 and C5 in supine with slight cervical flexion. So the intent of this technique then is to gap the left C4 on C5. Use your left hand to control the head and neck. Place the MCP of your right second digit over the posterior aspect of the right facet of the motion segment. Flex the neck up to the level to lock out from above. Translate from right to left to lock out from below and localize movement at the dysfunctional segment. Side bend away from the restriction to further localize the segment. When the motion segment is at the restriction barrier, apply a low amplitude, high velocity, translatory right to left thrust to open the left facet. Ensure that your right second MCP contact remains posterior to the facet joint and not over the transverse process. Keep your right forearm in line with the direction of the thrust. We'll now demonstrate this technique again in its entirety.